You're watching Duct Tape and Popsicle Sticks with Mike and Maria Kaiser. Because sometimes you feel like your business is being held together by duct tape and popsicle sticks. On this show, you're not going to hear the latest business fad. You're going to get useful information that you can apply to your own business right now. Hello and thanks for watching another enthralling episode of Duct Tape and Popsicle Sticks. I am Mike Kaiser along with a woman who gets a huge kick out of showing people up in random dance battles. Maria Kaiser. Why am I... That was a good one. Wow. That took me seconds. I mean, it was just but, weird. <laughs> well, it's weird when you do it. You're in a restaurant and you're like, you, get over here. And then it's chaos. But anyway... <laughs> We should get to the purpose should, of the yeah. show. Yeah. And by the way, everybody, thanks for joining us. As usual, everything you need to know is in the notes below, how to get to our other videos, how to get to our old podcasts, get to our website. Everything you need to know is right at your fingertips. So we get a lot of questions asked. So we did a show about search engine optimization, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but we get asked a lot of questions about search engine marketing mm -hmm. or yeah, uh, and is you that, might be right. That is that even thing? a thing, right? <laughs> right. Well, that's a huge one. How right. are they different? Right. But search engine marketing, you might know it as Google AdWords. You might know it as pay per click. It's all the things that are in the on top of the Google pages that say sponsored. Um, and you shouldn't be afraid to click on those. There's nothing like negative about them. They're just people paid to be there, and that's right. the point of paid search. You're being, you're paying. To show up in in search engines like like Google and Bing. Now, you'll probably talk about how it can be like, let's call it an expensive experiment. You know, it's not something you want to just be a, a do-it-yourselfer about. And it can be kind of complex. But a huge advantage of it is getting your ad in front of motivated buyers right at the time that they are ready to buy. Right. That's right. That's where it can that's its biggest advantage. But still people SEO, SEM, um, who should consider using search engine marketing? Well, I think I want to start with it it can be a very expensive experiment and it's one of those things with marketing that that we do not recommend you do on your own because we've We've known lots of people that have said, oh, I got this, I'll just manage my own account. And and they end up spending a lot of money on words that might not even be searched or um, it might not be the right search or the right location. So one thing I want to say, if you are considering AdWords or a so, uh, search engine marketing campaign, consider hiring a company. You could hire really? us, but you could hire someone else, but hire yes. someone that knows what they're doing. Don't because, learn as you pay. <laughs> yeah, because yes. it can be very, very expensive to do that. But why would you want to do this? Well, I mean, what if you have a very specific time-sensitive offer that you want people to see right now? Great time to do it. Um, if you're looking to, to grow hyper-local, um, you might want to do this. Um, yep. You want to be first on, on Google. Well, it'll guarantee that spot um, and you'll, you'll pay For to sure. be in that spot. Um, and if you want to bring uh, traffic and qualified leads to your website. So there's a lot of advantages to it, but just understand if you choose this route, um, it's something that only works when you pay for it. As soon as you stop paying for it, you are not number one anymore. And even then, and I don't mean to make this video go on too long, and we really value your precious time, but I'm thinking of one particular client that was paying for AdWords for like a year and a half mm -hmm. and not seeing anything, and right. then found out that a lot of the keywords, don't no, never mind the lingo right now, <laughs> found out it was not set up properly. Let's right. call it that. Right. So. Another thing that you want to be aware of is if you do pay somebody to get you into paid advertising, to search mm -hmm. engine marketing, if you don't see results pretty darn quickly, mm -hmm. um, then, then you're really going to have to question what's going on. Question what's going on and, and make sure, you know, when you have chosen someone to do this with you, you are seeing reports on a regular basis and you're going through the reports and you're checking in all the time because this is something you don't want to just let slide because ten twenty thirty thousand dollars can go out the door and and you might not see the results and you also yep. want to take into consideration with with SEM um, is the 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 
price tag of the product you're selling worth the price tag of the ad space that you're buying. So a good marketing company will help you look at all of those things and help help make sure your spend is makes sense. It does. And and I'll close to, mm -hmm. to segue on that. Um, we, we've known somebody a long time, actually I guess we'll call him a competitor, another marketing agency, but uh, asked him a long time ago, how's he most growing his agency? And he said, oh, it's, it's paid search. Sure. He said, it's paid search. Sure. Is my So you can spend 10, 20, or $30,000 mm -hmm. and waste it, or that spend can, can make a huge difference for your business. Right, right. So I, I, sometimes I feel like especially in this video that we're almost like talking you out of it. We're not talking you out of it. It's, <laughs> right. it's a great tool, but just make sure you're using it properly. Um, and, it, it, and if it's not used properly, it can get very expensive, especially the small business owner that might not have $30,000 to to say to goodbye waste. to. <laughs> right. Yeah. right, well said. Yeah. So, um, so that's it for today. I know we went a tiny bit long, but it's something we get a ton of questions about, so we thought you might have some questions about it too. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, we super appreciate you hanging out with us. You have been watching Duct Tape and Popsicle Sticks, where we usually make your business better just a few minutes at a time. Ciao for now. You're watching Duct Tape and Popsicle Sticks with Mike and Maria Kaiser.